obtain in Python, handling data using Python lists. In this session, we shall learn about one of the most flexible and easy to use data structures of Python, that is list. A list is one way to handle multiple values at once. So before discovering about how to create the lists and how to use them, first of all, let us understand what lists actually are, what are their basic characteristics. So first thing is that lists are heterogeneous in nature. That means they can store different types of data. In a list, you can store at a time a string or a float value, a boolean, a numeric value and so forth. Another characteristic of list is that they are mutable. That means they can be modified. There are certain data structures in Python which cannot be modified. They are called immutable such as tuples, uh, but lists are changeable. They can be modified, so they are mutable. The values which are stored in the list are accessed by a zero based index. That means the first value in the list will be considered to be at the index zero and so on. Then lists are very flexible and easy to handle as we will discover as we go through this session. Lists are very useful in handling structured data. Structured data means a data which has a well formed structure like rows and columns. So such a data can be easily handled by the help of lists. And a list can store another list within itself. So uh, there may be certain scenarios where you will find multiple lists are held inside another list. So such lists are called nested lists. So nesting of the lists is also possible. So let us begin exploring various operations on list. As you see in this small three lines program, we have a list in line one by the name runs made. It has got some 12 values and for loop is going through the list. It is browsing the list. One by one, the values are coming in the variable runs from the list runs made. And with every iteration, the current value is being printed on the screen as you see here. Now let us see how do we access list elements or the items in the list based on their index. We learned earlier that index is zero based. The list runs made has values which have index starting from zero to one that is marked there in red. In line five, we are using a function. It's a built-in function in Python, len function, which returns the length of a data structure. So here we are passing the name of the list here. Len function is returning 12. In line 8 and 9, we are accessing the very first element by the index 0 and the very last element or item. Len function is returning the number of items minus 1. That gives us 11. That's the index position of the last item. Then further, we are accepting from the user the index number. And if we are just validating simply if the index is negative, or if the index is beyond the number of items that is 12. So we are setting the value of variable s and then we are using the variable s as s minus 1 user has entered 13 that is adjusted to 12 and then runs made 12 minus 1 that is 11 the last value is being displayed. So values can be accessed from the list uh, depending on their index position. What if, if we need multiple values to be accessed in a sequence? That is called slicing. Slicing is, slice is actually a set of consecutive values in the list. Uh, slicing is done by the help of colon or range operator. See line number five, one colon three. One is the index and three is the position of the value with respect to the beginning. So the output is three comma 18. So always remember when you're passing X colon Y, X is the index and Y is the position of the value with respect to the beginning, or you can say the count of the value from the beginning. So it is actually index colon count from the beginning. Now you can very well understand line number seven, index two position from the beginning six. Line number nine, index four position from the beginning five. Both are same. That's why the output 83. If you are omitting the index, see line number 11. If you are omitting the index, that will be considered from the very beginning. That is zero. Blank colon five means zero colon five. Seven colon blank means till the end of the list. 
so from index 7 entire list will be displayed from starting from index 7 now list can be browsed in reverse also when we talk about reversing if i say line 17 minus 5 in the is the index minus 3 from the right hand side is the position hence the output 0 4 similarly for minus 9 and minus 6 so always remember when you are counting in reverse you have to mention the values in with minus sign that is negative and if you are counting from reverse the first value before colon before range operator is the position the count from the right hand side and the second value after the colon is actually the index position from the right hand side. Next, let us learn how do we load the list with data. Let us intersect this program in parts. Line one is create is using another built in function of Python that is list function. List function always returns a blank list like this. However, if you are passing list function with a string, the every letter of the string, including spaces, will be split into a separate item of the list. Moving on to the next part of the program, line 9. Here a star or asterisk sign is working as replication operator. Here I am I am creating a list of 12 elements and each element is having the value 1. Moving on further, line 13 weight sheet the list name is weight sheet where the name of the student the age of the student and the weight of the student in kg is being stored around 15 yeah 15 students data is there and see how the list is created the list is being displayed as a record one for each student by the help of for loop see line number 21 in range function we are using the stepping by three so it will be x will be skipping three values and y is also skipping the variable y is also taken in line 20 initialized by 3 and it is also skipping by 3 x and y are used as slicing for are used for slicing so first of all what it would be it would be 0 3 next time 3 will be added to both x and y it will become 3 6 then 6 9 then 9 12 and so on Well, if you have understood uh, slicing of the lists, then you can easily figure out what is happening in this program. We are making changes in the values of the list by the help of slicing. Here we have a very simple list with uh, by the name numbers. It has three values, one, two, and nine. And if you see line number four, we are storing a single element with value three. And at what position we are trying to store it? Index to position three. So here at index 2 position 3 actually value 9 is there that will be overwritten by the new value 3 see the output similarly 3 colon 3 is actually the next position possible in the list so 9 is appended line number 10 is index 0 position 3 so at index 0 position 3 what will happen so here we are removing a range of values by a single value 7. See line number 13. From index 0 till the end, that means what? Entire list is being replaced by the values 10, 11. See line number 16. Blank colon 0, that means 0 to 0, that means the very first position. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 will be inserted and values 10 and 11 will be shifted towards right hand side and what is happening in line number 19 here the index is minus 6 minus 6 is you count from the right hand side 1 2 3 4 5 6 so a range of values that is 6 7 8 9 6 7 8 9 will be removed and in their place 5 4 3 2 1 will be inserted so this is how by the help of slicing technique we can replace a set of values in the list we can not only replace we can insert and append also